Hey, Rabbi, let's move on. We've got another caller on the phone. Caller, welcome to Tanakh Talk. Thank you for being patient with us. What is your name and where you're calling from? I'm Ben, and I'm calling from Georgia. Ben from Georgia. Welcome to the show, sir. What was the question for you, thanks Rabbi? Thanks for having me, and yes, sir. Uh, thanks for what you guys do. I really appreciate it. Uh, it's a, just a quick two-part question. I'll ask the question and then hang up. Okay. Um, are all graven, are all statues made in the image of man graven images and thus abominations and i'm talking about the type of statues we see in front of universities and at the capitals and things like that and the second part is what about figurines and dolls for our children thank you awesome the prohibition of making any kind of image is only of those things that might be worshiped Terry says you shall not bow down to them. So therefore, it, the, the statues that you see in, in front of a university, in front of a library, I would say in front of a courthouse, but in America, I could tell from your accent, they already took out all the statues of Moses <laughs> because the ACLU made him get rid of it. <laughs> the Ten Commandments, they got rid of that. I interviewed the judge, actually, he's a devout Christian from Alabama, I believe it is, who fought that. But anyways, uh, no, those are not worship. They're not the object of worship. And therefore, if you buy your child, I don't know, Barbie, whatever, whatever girls enjoy those dolls, um, that's not a problem because those are not worship. So that's not idolatry. On the other hand, something that is worship, you're not allowed to have. And in fact, the, um, this is the second of the Ten Commandments that's forbidden to, you know, to have statues and you shall not bow down to them and so on and so forth. But you're allowed to have dolls that no one believes is, is um, no, no, it was not created for, nor is it uh, the object of worship. That's not a problem at all. Um, this actually has enormous uh, consequences, obviously, because now you can get your kid the doll you want, and you can, you know, you don't have to run out of your friend's house because he has a statue of Abraham Lincoln in the living room. But the the uh, consequences are uh, are in fact greater because um, what, what person is not allowed to pray or uh, make a blessing in a room where there is an idol. Let's say a person is in a place, happens to me, I'm in Bali for some reason, I'm in a place where I, you know, I have a, I brought with me a, my uh, salmon sandwich, whatever it is, you know, that I brought with me to Bali. So I have a kosher meal and I want to make a bracha on it. I want to make a blessing on it. And I look up over there and it, Bali is a, an island with, I don't know, something like six million Hindus, very devout. Balinese Hindus, very devout. And there are statues everywhere and altars everywhere. It is one of the best diving in the world. And those of you who are watching the show who do enjoy diving, it's worth the extra plane ticket to dive there rather than Florida because it'll blow your mind away. But you have to be careful in Bali where you pray or where you make a blessing. Why? Because as you go down the streets of Bali, I mean, just there are statues everywhere. So the statue of Hanuman, the monkey god, and all the gods, they're all there for all to see. You're not allowed to make a bracha in their presence. You're not allowed to, you know, you're not allowed to pray in the presence of a statue. So that would very much apply to being in Bali. But it wouldn't, or if let's say you were in a Catholic hospital and they had a crucifix in the room, you'd have to ask them to remove it as a child of God to pray to make your blessings because you can't make a blessing in the room where there's a crucifix there. You're not allowed to do that. So, uh, so the answer is, but dolls and statues that are just art or, you know, and so on, that's, there's no prohibition identified with that. Okay, so one thing that I had, uh, um, I, for me, I needed a little bit more than that, and it was, it was to, to break it down as simple as I heard it as well, Rabbi, was uh -huh. that within the clear text itself, um, I've got it, I pulled it up on screen a moment ago, um, before it says do not have any 
uh, you shall not make for yourselves any carved image. Before that, which is telling you what it's fixing to talk about, about carving images, before it is where it says, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt um, and out of the house of slavery, you shall not have any other gods before me. And so you could literally say, therefore, you shall not make for yourselves any carved images. Uh, so the context of it is specifically to worship and to bow down to. I actually would assemble it differently. I mean, yes, it's true. It's true. The Torah says, and this is Exodus chapter 1, let's go to the Ten Commandments. There is, by the way, the prohibition of worshiping statues is all over the Tanakh, everywhere. I mean, frankly, I mean, I get the fact that Protestants don't, you know, don't have statues, and their Christians fought and argued over having statues in churches and icons, and, and this is a very big deal. But the Torah actually has a prohibition, Anoichi Hashem Elikecha, Asher Hitzei Sicha, Me'ertz Yisrael, Me'beis Avodim, Okay, that's verse 2. I am Lord your God who took you out of Egypt from the house of bondage. have No other gods on my face. That's one prohibition. That's the worst thing you can do. That means the Trinity. That means Shutfus. That means that you worship the God of Israel, but you've got another God on top of it who is a separate person. That's a partnership. Because what does it mean? You shall have no other gods, because the word Elohim in this context is a false god. The same like in Arabic, you have Allah, which is the true god, and Ella, which could be the true god or not the true god. Say, work same way in Hebrew. So, but what is the end of the verse doing? It says it says Al Panay. What does the Torah say? You shall have no other gods. Should stop, but it says I'll pun it on my face. That's the worst thing to do because then you're married to God, but you're getting text messages from somebody else. You didn't come home last night, and you stink from somebody else's cologne. That is the worst thing you can do. Now, as it turns out, the Torah then turns in verse four and five. Like Sasel Chafesel Chal Tmuna, Hashem Hashem don't make any statue of any likeness of anything that's in the heaven above or on the ground below, and then continue the verse five. Like Sistachave Lahem, but like Saavdim, and you shall not bow down to them and worship them. Why? Ki Anoichi Hashem Lekecha Kel Kana. I'm a God who's a jealous God, so that the connection is four and five. Adon Olach, Asher Malach, B'terem Kol Yetzir Nivra, Let Nasa, B'chev Tzokor, Azai Melech, Azai Melech, Shemu Nikra. אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נסע וחפץ הכל הזיים אלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובר והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת נסע וחפץ הכל הזיים אלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובר בתפארה והוא עובר והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת עשה וחפץ הכל עשה עם אלך עשה עם אלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא עובר והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת עשה וחץ הכל הזיים מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו עם נחמורה והוא היה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כל יציר נברא לעת עשה וחץ הכל הזיים מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו עם נחמורה והוא היה והוא עובד בתפארה והוא עובד והוא יהיה בתפארה Let's 
סוקור. אזי מלך, אזי מלך, שמו נקרא. אדון עולם השם הלך בטרם כל יציא נברא לעת נשא בחפצה כל הזין מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי תכלות הכל לבדו ימנוך נורא והוא היה והוא הווה והוא יהיה בתפארה אדון עולם השם הלך בטרם כל יציא נברא לעת נשא בחפצה כל הזין מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי תכלות הכל לבדו ימנוך נורא והוא היה והוא הווה בתפארה והוא הווה והוא יהיה בתפארה והוא היה והוא הווה בתפארה והוא הווה והוא יהיה בתפארה